Hello, good afternoon, welcome back to my channel. This is Louise from Louise's Lifestyle. Thank you for joining me. I'm just doing some uh, tidying up today and uh, a little bit of seed collecting from uh, one of these uh, perennials I've got here is a mock orange, Philadelphus, and it has lovely white flowers in the spring. Very strong uh, orange blossom fragrance and the do resemble the um, jasmine sandback or belly flower which is uh, a very popular flower in Bangladesh. My husband said that this flower on, on this mock orange is the English version of the belly fool. So I'm collecting some seeds from that and um, uh, also today I'm going to collect some seeds from this uh, Sestrum Parkway. Um, this is the night blooming jasmine and this is the outdoor hardy variety and it has got some seeds now I'm not sure if they're quite ripe enough yet to pick I think one or two there might be ready and hopefully I can um, successfully get these to germinate and I'll have multiple um, sestrum uh, parkweed or night blooming jasmine plants for next uh, spring hopefully so that's the plan anyway so harvest some of those seeds i also need to tidy up the front area here you can see there's a big mass of um, plants that have died off this was a nasturtium plant it was absolutely huge you can see some seed pods down on the ground so i'm going to hopefully um, harvest some seed pods from this plant you can see masses and masses of <laughs> seed pods all over the ground there um, cleared away as much as I could and um, what I'm going to do is I collect some of the seed pods but I'll leave the rest uh, in the soil and they will pop up themselves next year um, the ones that I harvest I'll plant those on the allotment and in some tubs now this fuchsia plant I also need to trim back it is it's gone huge um, the flowers were lovely up until the frost um, so yeah it looking a bit scraggy uh, needs to be trimmed back as well as this area where my pots are um, they look a bit untidy and I've got a big pile of weeds and uh, plant pots material um, that I need to tidy up get that in the compost bin and also um, I've got some uh, geraniums or pelagoniums um, that I've just dug out of one of the pots and I will be keeping these in the porch area uh, because they're not frost hardy and I've got some um, I've got a, a cosmos here that's just finished flowering and the uh, frost got it it's very late in the season so I've trimmed back the uh, fuchsia and I've brought the pots in to this side of the garden and I'm just having a look at my Swiss chard looks really good looks very healthy got my chives and my mint down there so I've got to sweep up all these uh, leaves tidied up the pots as much as I could uh, these are just perennials and I've got these violas that I got from golden days I'm going to plant these these are lovely winter flowering plants uh, I got these for 50p a, a bargain really look how lovely those flowers look so once they get planted up hopefully they'll be putting out these little blooms so I'm going to be putting them in the large tub that I've got here where my clematis I've got my clematis on either side of my door and there they are planted up Hopefully I get provide me with some nice colour over the winter. So thanks for watching. Hope it's all tidy enough now. Take care. Bye bye.